So Jerry was a patient of mine. He was quite a character. Um, I looked after him for a few years, but it was really hard to get him into the office. He would always try to get free advice by the phone or get new prescriptions by phone. So one day, uh, it was about a Friday afternoon, around one o'clock, my nurse calls me and says, uh, Jerry's on the phone, he says he's dizzy and he wants some medicine for vertigo, for that type of dizziness. Can you, can you give him some? And I said, no, if he's, if he's dizzy, you better have him come in. So surprisingly, he actually came into the office. But being Jerry, he still went up to the nurse and still tried to get a prescription. She puts him in the room, and when I went to see him, I realized, well, he must be really sick. So as I sat down and started taking the history from him, he says, well, you know, well, what's wrong? You know, and he says, well, I'm, I'm feeling dizzy the last couple of days, Doc. But it's, it's usually, it's different than I usually have vertigo that I get. You know, I, I find that uh, I'm a little short of breath, and I can't really do anything that I normally do. And with that, I literally shot out of my chair, grabbed and stuck my stethoscope on his heart, and I heard he was running about 20 or 30 beats a minute and knew that he had a major heart problem right there on the spot. So we called an ambulance and took him to the hospital, and he needed a pacemaker. But he was so upset with me, he never came back to see me after that. Even though I saved his life in a split second, and if I hadn't made him come into the office, he wouldn't have been alive, but that's the type, that's what happens when you deal with the public too. His heart rate was too slow, so this would not allow him to have enough blood coming out of his heart per minute to allow him to function. In fact, when he got up after my diagnosis, he passed out and we called the ambulance because his heart was too slow and couldn't provide enough blood pressure and blood flow to his brain. Uh, and that's why he was having the difficulty. So as soon as he got to the hospital, just by looking at his EKG, they could see that the sinus note that normally controls his heart rate was no longer working. And they put a, a temporary pacemaker immediately, and then he was given a permanent pacemaker to take care of his heart. This shows how, how crucial these control mechanisms are.